Coming up in Center Circle, is football administration a man's world or is there a place for a woman? Fabian Reed puts Montego Bay United to the sword with the Premier League's first hat-trick of the season. And Cornwall College reigns supreme in schoolboy football. I don't know if the, if this is the way I was grown or, or stuff like that, but I just feel that, it, for me, leadership in sports, I felt that it is a man. But it wouldn't be nothing, nothing, without a woman or a girl. I learned today as my son's told me that if and I'm putting the family here. If I don't get the guest of Sandy's if I don't get the job as president to run the football association, then the action is clear. There's only been one female president at the helm of the parish association, and that's Lorraine Scringer, who served the Hanover FA for 19 years. But during her stint, she alleged that she was sabotaged by a male sports reporter. Almost every week, there was some negative thing in the paper. Re sponsor and the association, and scrupulous persons. Persons who, in one breath, is saying they love the sport and supporting the sports, and in the other, tearing it down. They try to say negative things about football, sponsors. During her stint, she sat at the head table in the administration of then-president Captain Horace Burrell. But when elections came around, not even her status at the JFF could have saved her. She was beaten by Sheridan Samuels. The delegates have spoken and they have nominated a new board. I now hand over to the president of the duly nominated board, Mr. Sheridan Samuels, I hand over to Mr. Samuels and his board and wish for you all, the board that is, God's speed. I guess Madam President will come back and this is the executive so that we can proceed. The executive, the outgoing board is now dissolved. Colleagues, you heard that? Thank you. Another female, Dolores Williamson, thought she had a chance of succeeding outgoing President Raymond Anderson at the helm of the St. Mary FA, for which she was a long-standing vice president. But she found no favor with the delegates and was beaten by another vice president, James Pearson. I've done 20 years of the body of St. Mary and I believe today, as my sons have told me, that if, and I'm putting it on here, if I don't get the yes of sons, if I don't get the job as president to run the football association for me, then the action is clear. So, as of today, I declare myself I will not be competing as a second vice president of the Second Football Association. I am not unhappy about the election. I'm unhappy about the people who I work with. I've done this before and my, my executives didn't um, support me. And I believe today my executive did not support me. I have been working for 15 years voluntarily in this parish. And I don't get support from my executive, so that I don't have a problem with the election that goes on today. And that is the reason why I will not accept the position as second vice president. Now there is Marlene Brown at the Trelawney FA. She's been acting since March as president, following Linnell McLean taking up office at the JFF. I have no regret being in this position at this point in time. And uh, I don't see any reason not to continue on as long as the affiliates decide that I am the person I want to be there. 
in anything at all, anything at all in life, female always been like there always been a setback in anything you do because it is always believed that Jamaica or the world men is the leader or men in charge. I think that we have stepped up a lot. We have um, put ourselves in position where we can serve and be a, a good leader or a proper administrator in anything that we are set our mind to do. But not many females would be pleased with her opinion of who should sit at the head table of football offices. If a male person within this organization decides that he is going to step out and, and put his ad in the ring, I think um, possible, it's a possibility that I'll step aside and, and give that, that male person the, 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 the chance to go ahead. I just feel that um, I don't know if, the, if this way I was grown or, or stuff like that, but I just feel that it, for me, leadership in sports, I felt that it is a man's sport. It's a man's job. Man make them happy. Cause man make them toys. If, if some persons um, or ladies decide that okay, I shouldn't speak like that, I maybe would agree with them, but this is how I feel, that because football are, is a male sport, 90, or 70 to 80 percent is a male sport, the rest is for female, and that is the way I see it. This is a man's, man's, man's world. Before I've been in football, the only female president I've heard of is Miss Lorraine Scringer, right? And she, is the, she was the only person until I have uh, my, myself was put in this at seat, but um, I don't I don't think that female or any ladies out there hearing me now in this discussion to say that um, I I don't think that we are or we can. I think we can, but I'm saying that my belief is just that I think that because it's a m more known as a male sport, that is why I think like that. But it's not that we cannot do the job, I think we can. So McLean, former president, has been president since 1998. And I've been a second since then. And uh, put it this way, a strong administration team behind your president is what you need. It's definitely what you need. So as a male, and if you have that strong back team, which will be a whether female or male, as long as you are administrative, positive, you know where you're going, you know what to do, you know where to go and when and how to do your thing, then that, is, that, that president is, is set. Let me tell you, I think I was given the chance to prove who I am and what I can do in release to football, what I have to offer. My administrative skill was learned through Three persons, Mr. Lynn McLean, Ms. as male, Mr. Lynn McLean, Mr. Horace Reed, Mr. Bruce Gaynor. And I just admire Ms. Latoya Dacasta based on her work and how she gets her work done. So when you look back on where you're coming from, you go in, if you are a female and you're interested in football, you go in. I don't, I don't go to waste time, I go to learn. When I come, just come in as the assistant, Jen's like, I know nothing about the fixtures. Mr. McLean sit me down and show me once and never show me again. It's, that, it's just the interest and the love that you have for the thing that you are willing and you are quick learn. But I don't think we belong in the kitchen only. We belong everywhere as long as we're given an opportunity. Can love and passion alone drive you to become a president? No. You have to have the will, you have to have the mindset, you have to have some kind of educational background in terms of making a proper presentation. It's not the passion. The passion will get you carried away. The passion will let you even get upset and angry when certain questions are posed to you. But if you are settled, you are in your right mind, passion and love will take you. After, you have to know the work itself or learn the work itself for you to be able to carry out the duty that you have to do. I don't know a person who would say anything I've not heard, but based on what I've experienced so far, it is person who are willing to stand behind me to make sure that I achieve um, the purpose of the association 
are the goals of the association and where is it that we plan to go, what is it that we want to continue to do based on our former president, Mr. Lennon McLean. But I have not yet to see anybody. You know, clubs, they will have their, their, their liquor issue in terms of if they don't get it their way or see it their way, we don't see it their way and make a decision based on what they think or be, they believe. But I, I have not seen anything. I'm, I think the support is well is behind me and, and, and I don't see any changes so far. And she is not afraid to sit at the JFF board, which is 100% male. I'm not one to back down to ask any question at any time as long as I'm not being disrespectful. And the question that I'm being put, put on the table, it is something that will benefit for me that I can come back to my parish to say that this is a situation and, and that is so. But no, I'm not being intimidated at any time. Never, whether for the previous administration or not. A woman or a girl. Still to come on Center Circle, Patrick Mann Parker Blacks aims for the Premier League Golden Boot and bringing joy to the West. Cornwall College sent Jamaica College home empty handed.